What's up, boys? Taking a look at some more NBA player props today over on Prize Picks. This video is for Prize Picks, sports books, and also other player pro websites out there. But if you're not on Prize Picks, I recommend joining because there is tons of value on the board. Link is down in my description below, or you can use my code DWMG when you guys do sign up for the app and download it. It will ask you for a promo code. Use my code DWMG because it gets you a 100% deposit match up to $100. There's so much value on this board, I'm telling you guys, and I'm gonna show you guys some of that value today. Yesterday's video recap, we were one and one. Unfortunately, the top play did end up hitting which was Kelly Oubre over nine and a half first half points but Josh Giddy, he happened to sit the entire third quarter last night for whatever reason so he sold the second prop for us but the top play did hit and uh, yesterday over on the Patreon I was up 2.64 units so I had a pretty good day yesterday up 2.64 units and before we hop in make sure you leave a like on the video and subscribe but let's take a look at that Patreon if you are interested in seeing every single one of my plays check out the Patreon the link is down in the description below there are three different tiers there's NFL NBA and in all sports with access to the patreon you guys get every single play that i play on top of these plays being ranked by confidence level and write-ups to go with every single prop that i post once again the link is down in the description below so check it out and i will be doing the giveaway by the way that ends tomorrow so make sure you stay until the end of the video so that you guys can hear about the giveaway that i am running because you won't want to miss it now let's hop in though and talk about a little bit of prize picks today and some other player prop websites out there so Right here, let's take a look here at this player prop. I'm going to head over to the assist category here. And by the way, I'm going to run two player props today. One is going to be for NFL and one is going to be for NBA. So that way you have a pair. But if you're on Sportsbook, it's not really going to matter for you. But I like Trey Jones over seven assists here. I like him also over the seven and a half. And I'll explain that in a second here. But Trey Jones over seven assists. This is probably going to be my favorite play of the entire day. I'd be surprised if, if I like something a little bit better than this. But he's a minus 105 to go over seven and a half full game assists. He's at least pushed us in eight out of his last nine games. Um, so that's a great, great hit rate for sure. It's a fast paced matchup today against the Kings and he's had nine plus assists in four straight games. So we're going to dive into this. Stay tuned for the breakdown. See if it's something that you want to play. Don't go directly just off of what I say. Always look into these a little bit more on your own and always tail your own risk. But this game should be a little bit of fast paced here. So the San Antonio Spurs are going to be on the road here going to the Sacramento Kings. So uh, Kings will be at home in this one. He will be on the road, but he's a point guard going to Sacramento here. It's a seven point spread with a 236 over under in this one right here. Let's take a look here at the point guard assists versus the Sacramento Kings. And the Kings are pretty much in the middle of the pack when it comes to assists per game allowed to the point guard. So pretty much right in the middle of the pack, probably around that 15th, 16th range when it comes to assists allowed per game to the point guard position. So it's not a super great matchup, but isn't a terrible matchup either. And for a guy that has been absolutely killing this lately, I will take my chances here. So last game, he only had 23 minutes last game. He had 23 minutes against the Trailblazers and he had 10 assists in that game. Nine, he had nine assists against Milwaukee, 11 against Memphis, nine against Denver, seven against Denver again. Oh, the only game he missed in that span, by the way, was against the Clippers where he had six. Otherwise, he went over against Chicago, we went over against the Timberwolves. So, I like the spot a lot here for him at seven assists. Let's see what he is at on the sports books, though. If we hop down here uh, in these assists here, we can take a look at where Trey Jones is at. I think I got to refresh. So, on the different sports books, MGM he is at minus 105, DK is at minus 105, and he is even on uh, Caesars right there. So, Caesars has the best odds right there if you are looking to take Trey Jones. But I really like the spot for my prize picks at seven. I think that's great. Prize picks is a minus 137, if you do not know. So minus 137 to have him bump down to seven assists. I really like that spot right there for Trey Jones, who has at least pushed this in eight out of his last nine games. So again, I do like him on the sports books as well. But if you're not on prize picks, I recommend joining 18 plus if you guys are, hopefully you guys are 18 years or older if you're watching this video. But uh, it's available in most states and most of Canada. So the link is down in my description below or just my code DMG when you, when you do download the app. So that's my first player right there, Trey Jones for the NBA. But we're actually going to hop over now and go to the NFL. And we're going to head over to the sacks category. I don't think this is on Sportsbooks or anything like that, but this is definitely available on prize picks as you guys can see. But I like the Green Bay Packers under two sacks against the Tennessee Titans. And there's a couple different reasons for this. Let me explain why. So this game right here, the Packers and the Tennessee Titans, of course, it's going to be Thursday night football today. The Packers have been under this or at least pushed this in six straight games. Dallas, Detroit, Washington, all these different games. They've been under in six straight games. They've lost Rashawn Gary. Rashawn Gary is their number one sack guy and he has not been on the team. He is injured. So that's already a big blow to the Packers right there. But I really like the spot here against Ryan Tannehill in the Tennessee Titans because the Titans have only allowed two teams to go over this with Ryan Tannehill starting at quarterback right here. So Denver went under this. Uh, Indianapolis ended up pushing this. Vegas went under. The Giants went under. Buffalo ended up pushing this. They did have two games where they did go over, though, against Indianapolis and Washington. But 
For a team that's been under this in six straight and a team that's only allowed Tannehill to get sacked more than two times in two out of seven games, I like the spot for the under for the Packers in this one right here. And to top it off, I'm assuming, you know, the Tennessee Titans are probably going to try to pound the rock with Derrick Henry. It might, Green Bay might not even have the chance to get sacks in this game right here. I'm pretty sure this is probably going to be... They're, the Tennessee Titans are probably going to have the most rushing attempts Green Bay has faced so far this season. I mean, if you take a look at games where they've been pounded the rock against, I mean, the Giants, they destroyed Green Bay with a run, really, and Barkley, he, they had only had one sack because they couldn't even get, you know, they didn't have the opportunities to get sacks because of how much they were pounding the rock, and I'm assuming, like the Tennessee Titans do every week, they're going to pound the rock with Derrick Henry and Green Bay. Not, Green Bay might not even have chances to get sacks in this one, so there might not be too many passing attempts for Ryan Tannehill in this one. Let's see what his passing attempts are at, if he's even on the board. He's not on the board, unfortunately, for passing attempts, but I don't think there's going to be very, very much. He's at only 175 and a half passing yards. So I like the spot here for Green Bay to go under their sacks. I don't even think they're really going to have much opportunities. They haven't really got it done in the past, even with opportunities. So even when they've had like, you know, 53 tackles and all that, I mean, it's just, come on, man. I like the spot there for the under for the Green Bay Packers of under two sacks. I'd be surprised if they had three against Tennessee, unless Green Bay is up pretty big and they will be forced to throw. We'll see how this game goes tonight. It's going to be really interesting. Green Bay and the Tennessee Titans. Green Bay coming off a big win. But yeah, that's uh, my NFL play right there. And I gave you guys my NF my NBA play, which was Trey Jones over seven assists. I really like that one. I also liked De'Aaron Fox when he was over six and a half assists, but he got bumped to seven. I was actually going to put that in today's video, but he ended up getting bumped to seven. So uh, uh Sabonis here is a little bit interesting as well at six assists I kind of like that spot a little bit uh, I might take a look at some fantasy score a little bit but yeah the Patreon is definitely available if you are interested in joining we were up 2.64 units yesterday at least I was uh over in the highest tier they saw all my entries uh they can uh, quote me on that one but thank you guys for watching I seriously do appreciate you guys giveaway I gotta talk about the giveaway real quick this giveaway here Go to my Twitter, D-U-M-G Props over on Twitter. All you have to do is like and retweet this tweet and also follow me. Follow me, like, and retweet this tweet, and you guys are entered into the giveaway. This ends on Friday. This will be a live stream Friday night. Friday night, I will be live streaming, and I will be choosing this giveaway winner. So first live stream on the channel, by the way, $100 to three different people in a signed Joey Bosa jersey. So four different giveaway winners for that one right there. But by the way, there is a little thing going on. I, someone is apparently impersonating me. So if you get a DM looking like this when you enter the giveaway, do not click this link. Please do not click this link. That is uh, definitely some type of spam or scam or something like that. So safe to say I'm never running a giveaway over on Twitter again. But uh, yeah, those are my plays for today, man. If you're interested in giveaway, you guys can check that out. Uh, thank you for making it to the end of the video. Seriously, it does help me out a ton. Subscribe, leave a like, sign up for prize picks if you have not already. Uh, they just added six pick, six pick flexes, by the way. But that's going to do it. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next one. Patreon link down description below. Tail your own risk.